Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And the reason why you've clicked on this video is most likely because you want convict cichlid babies or you have convict cichlid babies. In this video, I'll be giving you a bunch of tips and some little tricks for the best survival, care, and that they just live a good life. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so this second part is going to be how to take care of your small fries. See, my convict right here, and there might be a convict in the coral rock, are a pair. This one is chasing around others to protect that one. As you can see, the one that just came out of the coral rock, that is the mother of the small fries. I'm about to show you the small fries. As you can see, inside the coral rock, there is a bunch of little black things, which are her small fries. As you can see them, they are swimming around. And she is protecting them. Now, what some are the biggest misconsumations, however you want to say it, of convicts is they take very good care of their babies and they don't hurt them or eat them or nothing. They actually protect them and raise them. Probably wondering, oh, um, should I put them in another tank? I would not. Personally, I would not. I would just keep them in there. And here's the thing about raising convict cichlids. You gotta have patience. And if you don't have patience, then, I mean, you're just gonna need patience. It's gonna like that. If you don't have patience, another key factor of having cichlids is resilience. Because fish are going to die. Some might die from disorders or really anything. The reason why you should have them is because they're beautiful fish and if you don't and you can also even sell them if you would like to. Convict cichlids are one of the prettiest cichlids, which they're not the most prettiest, but they're one of the prettiest. There's the pink convict, the blue convict, and the regular convict. Whichever one you have, you can have. But alright, let's get into some tips of having the convict do have good water maintenance and good temperatures. One thing of having a convict cichlid is they're just super easy to breed. And these small fries are gonna grow up and they grow one to two inches every two weeks. Pretty crazy for a little convict. But you should keep them because they're... And if your convict starts showing aggression towards the small fry, one thing I would do is move the small fry or the pair to another tank. As you can see, my convicts have tank mates and a little Oscar. I might be saying, oh, don't put the Oscar with them. They actually do well together. If you don't blame me, look it up. So, all right, let's get on to another tip. Cichlid breeding behavior. So convict cichlid breeding behavior is kind of showing aggression towards other convicts. You might think it's aggression, it might could be or it might not be. If they're spinning in a circle like this, then they might be mating and they're not all the time being aggressive. They're just trying to make mate. See, these two are a couple and they're small fry are in there. All right, let's go on to the next tip. Monitoring. If you don't monitor these small fries, might not end well. But as you can see, they're swimming around in here and I have been monitoring, monitor. I, I can't say word. I have been doing this for a couple of weeks, or a week now, and if I were you, I would do this the same. Another important factor of keeping baby convicts is decoration in the tank. If they do not have decoration in the tank, they are not safe and will most likely die. So I would have like rocks or plants like I have here. This just gives them the best chance for survival tank setup. So personally, for keeping any convicts, and if you have a community tank, I would move the breeding pair of convicts to a community tank. If they have already had the babies in their tank, that's going to be hard. But the ideal tank setup you want to have for baby convicts is like a little rock like this for them to stay in a little high 
and just in a 20 gallon tank is the best ideal tank setup for keeping baby convict cichlids growing out now growing out these cichlids is one of the i would say toughest things to do because some are going to have disformities and just like there's just so many small things that are fighting against these cichlids survival but there also is a small chance that they do survive like all the tips I've given you in this thing. So when you're growing them out, you see in the deformities like mouth dislocation, spinal problems, they're probably not gonna live a good life. I would, if I were you, there's two things you can do. You can either keep them and try to keep them alive, or you can unlock them. Which is probably the best thing for them because they will not survive against the others. D measures. So some safety measures I would do is watching these big fish, like my Oscar here, making sure they don't eat any of the babies, which they probably won't if you have good tank decor because these fish will protect their small fries. And some other safety measures I would take is not the, sh like, if you have any like sharp rocks that can maybe cut them when they get probably like that big, but that's really rare for that to happen. A safety net is one of the things you can use to keep your small fry convicts safe. But there is also some safety measures in that. It is like them getting caught up in the net, stuff in the net, food staying in there like it's a filtration system. That is one way that is hard for, for them. summarize this whole thing up together baby convicts is probably very cool and it's one of the best feelings you will ever have because they are so fun and just to keep and have you can even sell them for profit if you choose to or would like to now thank you for watching this video and leave in the comments if these tips were helpful for you and if you'd like to see more videos then more videos like this like and subscribe and comment. Alright, I hope you all have a blessed day. See ya.